I was lucky enough to be able to stop Martha and have her talk to me about one of the topics she's super passionate about, schema, structured data, and rich snippets on Google and beyond. Hope you like this interview. SEMrush is an online visibility, management, and content marketing SaaS platform. Today, it unites over 5 million marketers worldwide and assists them in their everyday with help of its key tools, competitive research, SEO, content marketing, social media, and advertising. SEMrush always aims to provide a product solution to all marketing experts to ease their workflow. Check out their newly launched tool, Content Marketplace. Now you can order an optimized blog post in just a few clicks to fuel your content marketing efforts. Check them out at SEMrush.com and thank you for sponsoring SEMrush. Thank you for taking the time to be on my vlog. I appreciate it. Love can it. Can you tell people who you are and what you do? Sure. My name is Martha Van Burkle and I'm the CEO at Schema App. And Schema App is a platform that does structured data at scale so that we can actually do the strategies that we talk about and not have to worry about the IT. So is it true that you're better at Schema than Aaron Bradley? Oh. Um, That's what I hear. That's what people tell me on the blog. Yeah, well, I would say Aaron Bradley is like better at doing the semantics of it all, and we're, our team's probably better at doing the schema part of it. <laughs> it's on record now. All right, so let's talk about your history a little bit. You were at a, a pretty big firm for a pretty long time. That's right. So I spent 14 years at Cisco, basically doing everything from technical support, very early voice over IP days, product management, and then sort of built a lot of companies within Cisco, sort of like kind of was the intrapreneur and then um, got pretty bored. And so at that point, actually my business partner and I started the company, this was like 2011, because he was interested in applying semantic technology. So you know, Google's kind of built on semantic technology, but it hasn't really surfaced until a lot of the talk that we do now with structured data. Yeah. And then in uh, 2013, 2014, we built this tool so that we could produce structured data faster than we could write it, so that we can make some money doing our consulting to small, medium-sized businesses. And then in 2016, Schema App was born. And so I've been sort of, you know, co-founder of that, and now we're a team of 16, and uh, work with small companies all the way up to, to like global companies like SAP. So you started Schema at that company while you were at Cisco or kind of like building it and not really? Kind no, of I left Cisco and then we sort of like started into the structured data. My, my partner was doing entrepreneurial things before that and I was more like the angel funder sort of investor trying to make it all happen. Cool, awesome. All right, so let's talk about some schema stuff since you're here. Yeah, let's do it. So anything specific that you love about schema that you hate about schema? I think like the most exciting thing is that like I feel like the market's finally ready for structured data. Like yeah. it's not sort of one of those things where everyone's like, oh, that's really nice, Martha, that you're talking about it. It's like 2014, 2015, like I don't really care. Whereas now like Google is just like pounding it home over and over and over again. Like this should be part of like what you do. And so I'm excited that like the market's ready for that. And I'm still a big believer that structured data is going to be sort of this marketing data layer that you're going to kind of manage your information in a really consumable way. And today, search engines are consuming that, and Google is now saying they're using it for voice. Right. And so my Cisco background then comes in to say, like, well, what other Internet of Things connected things right. need to understand context and provide service? And if we think about how we all interact with our phones and our thermostats and our cars, yeah. Like, I really think structured data might sort of become that marketing de facto data layer to, to manage all that. I remember looking back and like Gary from Google was like, we don't really want to depend on schema or structured yeah. data. And then I was like, Google's been, like, like you said, pushing it and pushing it, coming out with more supported structured data markups that they support. Now the page is just amazing. It's filled with so many options. Absolutely. It's, it's like, great. Like 2017 state of search, I like cornered Gary and he was like, yeah, we use structured data. We use it across the board. We don't just use the features. And so I got like super excited. I was like, 2018 is going to be the year of structured data. Yeah. And then like, lo and behold, like 2020 yeah. might actually be the year of structured data. Well, it's, it's incredibly important. I mean, your click through rates on those, like if you're number three and you had the, obviously the rich, rich snippets, result, yeah. that makes a big difference. And now, like you said, it's coming to voice where if you implement structured data on your website, Google will figure out how to do voice actions on your behalf without you doing anything. So yeah. it's great. Well, it's also interesting with all the, like, the BERT talk that's been going on because right. like that's understanding context of a sentence and so forth, right? And when you think of like they're saying like BERT's going to help with long tail, where to me like structured data also has like a similar type of value, right? Where you know, like understanding of like more of these niche things like services and things that maybe aren't just rich snippets are still helping the machine understand to do better matches. And we see that like for the business resulting in higher quality traffic that then leads like le usually like to higher conversion no matter how they measure so, so the Google talk around schema and structured data and rich results and so forth has always been like, it doesn't help you rank necessarily. It's not a ranking factor. It helps us understand your content and then 
show that content in an interesting way in our search results, meaning either with rich results, stars, yeah. extra information, or in voice results by showing information there, or on the Google Home display where you have the you know recipe stuff. You obviously kind of, I'm, I'm getting the impression from you that you think it actually helps with rankings. So we've seen it actually help our clients get ranked. So like it's a measurement we look at just like others. So I think like one of our studies, we saw like an average of nine positions that we saw at rank. Now, Google hasn't documented that it's a ranking factor, so I won't say like absolutely, but it, but it helps understand it, right? And if Google like is trying to get people to stay on the search engine page so that they can show more ads so that they can target better ads, you have to think that they're using that understanding like across the board in order for them to drive their revenue. Right, or, or it could mean that people who are web developers and companies that are willing to invest in schema and structured data are also probably investing in Common okay. Sense, SEO, Absolutely. and other things, whereas the other ones are not investing in it. So It's, it's a one tool in the toolkit, it's yeah. not the silver bullet. Absolutely. But I just want, I, I do kind of think like if Google, it does help Google understand your content better, it makes sense that it'll be somewhat related to rankings. And I just wish Google would be clarify that statement, you yeah. know, in haven't, a haven't big way. Haven't seen it yet. Haven't seen it yet. It doesn't hurt them to say, yeah, we use it for ranking because then everybody, more people will use it. And they yeah. want people to use it. Just like with uh, Google Plus came out, like it wasn't legit, but like Google Plus people were saying, use it, plus ones help you with rankings, even though they didn't. But they were saying that on the record. Yeah. And they're like, oh, we've got, we got, we got to backscale that. But structured data, I mean, they're all in. They should really come out and just say it. Well, in John Mueller's video that he did like on structured data, I think in like mid-October, okay. he, he finally said like, do structured data because it helps us understand and therefore match searcher's intent. So he right. didn't say rank, yeah. but he was like eluding beyond the rich result, which, right. which was like, finally, yeah. right? Finally. So they, they probably should do that. Anything yeah. you like to see Google do differently or better with structured data? Absolutely. So with the uh, rich reviews like change, the ratings like change that happened in September, they really pulled back on blog posts, articles, as well as service. And so I'd like to see service become like not the like, neglected cousin of product mm -hmm. and actually have that like become like a, a product feature and then um, I'd like to see like the review rich to come back for blogs and articles because it really helps the users understand like what content is awesome as they're looking at results so that's like more of a tactic around rich results and reviews and I guess the other piece is just like everyone's talking about voice but there's like no great way to measure that so yeah. I'm hoping search kind of down data. the line search console will actually come up with a way for us to actually measure the impact of structured data in voice um, and be able to also look at it sort of structured data beyond just rich results. Search Console's gone like really narrow to yeah. like report well on rich results. The structured data report is gone. Um, schema app may have brought one back that's like it. Um, but you know like what are how do we help like if understanding's the goal, how do we like make sure that we're doing that and have a way to measure it? Okay. Um, quickly if you could talk Google made a I guess a guideline update around I think reviews. Yeah. Schema and September. structured data. What do you yeah. think about that change? So I think it's good in the intent that they're trying to like make people not game it, right? Um, you know, the people who are impacted the most are local businesses and the strategist in me is like, oh, well, they want to sort of like see all that content reside in Google My Business. But I, I see sort of like where there's a middle ground in that where like, I don't know, there's a third party reviews on your website from Google My Business where Google is still driving that review and that content to have them owning it, but where you can display that and actually get your site to rank for that in addition to Google My Business. To me, that's a middle ground where the structured data points to Google My Business as the source of that information, which would then allow it to be honest, allow it to scale, but give the local businesses a chance to get that. And like I said, also, I'd like to see them, you know, we've seen them actually physician ratings come back about two or three weeks after they announced it. I'd like to see that also for blogs, news articles, and articles. John, make that happen. Ah, Not that he's watching that. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for doing this. How can people follow you and learn more about you? Sure. So uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Martha Van Burkle. Uh, you can also find us online at schemaapp.com, S-C-H-E-M-M-A. Oh, I can, I can blitz my t-shirt. And, um, you know, we publish a ton of content to help the market as well as videos. All of us structure data all the time. Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Take care.